hello welcome back to my channel it is me it is i it is she it is the it is who it is rosie rosette 2020 pal as long as i'm doing this you, you know i'm in pain anyway okay so apparently let me let me get let, let me oh let me see um apparently brianna taylor now listen i put this let me get out my um let me get out my instagram i put up a picture of brianna taylor But a picture of Brianna Taylor on my Instagram. Okay. Someone says, someone says, oh, nice hair and makeup or something. And I was like, that's not me. And then I go on to say, this is the picture that I put up. This looks nothing like me. Nothing. I don't have a tattoo. Okay, I'm not that dark. Well, I could be if I, you know, put on makeup or whatever. I, that is a nice picture. But this is Brianna Taylor. This is not me. Okay? And I, I asked the person. I don't even know who the person was. I said, you don't even know who that is, do you? You don't, you don't even know who that is, do you? Never got an answer. I never got an answer. That's a shame. That's a bold face, shame. You know why? Because it's a year later. Okay. It's a year later and um, there's no justice. There's no justice for Breonna Taylor. You know, it's been a year. They have not. Um, oh, this is so sad. It's a year later. There's no justice. There's no justice for her. He is suing. Okay. He is suing. Because. Um, for what? Oh, George Floyd. They got a $27 million settlement, I think, for the killing of George Floyd. But, you know, I think with him, they actually, with George Floyd, I think, some people are going to jail or going to court or whatever. With Brianna Taylor, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. And remember, it, you remember I was making all those videos in the last summer in the in my garage. Anyway, so now they have a Brianna's Law where they can't do certain things. I think they can't do a no knock thing or whatever. Um, President Biden did give support. Now I don't know if he can move some strings or not. But he did give support. I haven't heard anything about what Kamala Harris has said or whatever. But that's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother video. But the boyfriend is Kenneth. Um, I think it's Kenneth Walker. He is suing. And okay, so one of the cops said that the reason why they went over to Brianna's house in the first place, it's in a couple of videos, because I know I made about at least five videos about this when it was, excuse me, um, not when this happened, but when George Floyd happened and I heard about this. Anyway, um, so the reason why they went to her um, apartment in the first place is because they um, suspected that she was running drugs through that running drugs through her apartment so what the police said which they always lie um is is that they you know, went to the postal master or the postal master informed them that they you know spotted drugs and that were going to this address which never happened which i said this a year ago a year ago i said this that you know this is all bogus and then they said they had the wrong address. And then when they came, when they came, they never said that they were policemen. I said this the other day. But not only did the guy, um, what's his name, Walker, Kenneth Walker, say that he never heard them say, you know, this is the police or whatever. There's 12 neighbors who said they never heard them, you know, announce that they were police. So under this false allegation, there was no, you know, no need for them to be here. And they said something about the Fourth Amendment. I'm not exactly sure. 
I'm not exactly sure how the Fourth Amendment goes, how the law or the constitutional right or whatever. Um, but I think you have a right to bear arms or something like that, I would assume. Well, let's look at it real quick. But, and this is just a travesty because although I think only one of the cops um, lost their job, there's no, there's, they're still not in jail. So you kill a young, beautiful black woman in her apartment, in her bed, and no one goes to jail. And then you lie and say that, you know, the postmaster said that. Isn't that fraudulent? Isn't that a federal offense to lie on the federal government? I mean, I know the post office is like quasi-federal, whatever, but still. Okay, let's see. The Fourth Amendment. Let's see. The four. I love this iPad. The Fourth Amendment. Okay, the right of the right of the people to be secure in their persons, in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated and no warrant shall issue. But upon probable cause, there was no probable cause because the, okay, so this is where there was no probable cause because the postal master never told the police. Um, there was never exchange about drugs being issued to this address. So where did they get that at? Why did they do this to Brianna Taylor? Was it the was it the boyfriend that they were after? Was it Brianna Taylor? But she's an EMTS worker. But they were after her because she was. They came at 12 a.m. at night, and normally, I think if I can remember. She was normally at work at this time of the night. So they had to be watching her. They had to be watching her. So why would you come to her? Okay, so let's just, okay. Um, should not be violated and no warrant shall issue, but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. Now, I don't know if you remember, I don't know if I got it on tape, but I was like last week, I was doing videos. It was late at night. I think it was Tuesday night, Tuesday night. I was doing vi videos Tuesday or Wednesday night. I think it was Tuesday. Anyway, I'm about to get up. It's 11 o'clock at night. I look over cause you know, I'm always looking out my window or whatever. It's, you know, it's kind of busy. I, I'm a city girl, whatever. So I see three, I see one silver car and three cop cars so you know they didn't put it you know oh please get out of your car you know how they do they flash the light and they tell the person to exit your car whatever no nah, none of that none of that none of that none of that so what happened is i'm like oh three cop cars they the person gets out the car whatever he stands on the side then this cop is like just going through this man's car it's just searching and I'm like, hmm, let me get my phone out. 12 minutes later, I'm, you know, telling them, look, I have this, you know, there's, you're, you are being recorded. You are being recorded and I'm not going to stop this recording until that young man gets back in his car. Don't put your foot on his neck. Don't shoot. Don't do anything. I'm yelling out. This is across the street. I'm yelling at 11 o'clock at night. You know what I'm saying? I know my neighbors. I'm, I, I know my neighbors. Like you know what? This is it. I'm just sick of her. She is just too ghetto. But you know what? If that's what it takes to save one young man's life, hey. Now, was his Fourth Amendment violated? Do they have the right to go through his car? Because you know what I'm thinking is, if he had a violation, or you know his license wasn't good or if his tags or whatever wasn't good okay that's one thing but if that's the case then they would arrest him or whatever or gave him a fix it to a fix it ticket but they let him go so i'm thinking you know what they didn't have any rights to go through that boy's car literally they went through that car i mean all through the trunk all through the back i think through the side paneling everything it took them about at least so the video was 12 minutes long. It took them about 10 minutes. And I was telling them, okay, you're at, at the four minute mark. Okay, you're at the six minute mark. Okay, 10 minutes. And again, I said, I am not turning this 
uh, recorder off until, uh, again, until that young man is in his car on his way and safe. I was like, should I come down? They were like, no. <laughs> but back to Brianna. Uh -huh. 365 days later and nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, one lost their job. Really? You know what? Kenneth Walker sued them for a billion dollars. A billion dollars. Not 27 million or 100. No, sue them for a billion dollars. A billion. Like, get them where it hurts because they deserve it. Because there's just no reason. I, I still don't understand what was the motive for going to this girl's house and killing her. There's What was the motive? You guys literally violated her Fourth Amendment right. So, you know what? I'll keep you updated on the next occurrence or whatever. Yeah, okay. 